Hey, my friends, come on in. Come one, come all. We have, oh boy, the brand new maps. I've not played uh, Valley Hill by Salamander before, but here we are. We're doing it. We finally made it to the part of the Golden Souls Remastered where everything is now new. Yeah, last time we took care of the main boss of this game, Sapario. He is now dead. The Icon of Sin, who could fly. And now we are in Valley Hill. Next time, after we beat this, we're going to go through the 36 Bitcoin gate. It requires all my Bitcoins. Let's just jump on in. Oh, collect eight red coins to find the Golden Soul. Look at this place. The purple little flowers and the checkerboard street. Follow the Golden Road. Oh boy, we're in the Wizard of Oz. Oh, look at this. This is just... Yes, I'm having so much fun. I'm neglecting the fact that there are... Hell Knights over there to deal with. Whoa. That is an abyss down there that I assume if I fall down it, I will die. So let's not tempt fate and actually fall down there. Uh, no big coins to grab, so all I have to do is find the eight red coins and the golden soul, which are nine items, basically. So subtract nine from 394, and you get basically 385 regular coins. So, yeah. Cool. Just look at this place. Blue sky, what a great difference from, you know, Sapario. Looks like they're just bouncing off. Yeah, very low coin count right now for me, but that will hopefully change. Any crabs down here? Yeah, hopefully that will change and I won't just give my money for free or donate my money instead to the shopkeeper. I did that last time by accident. Didn't reload my game, which, in hindsight, I don't know why I didn't do that, but okay. So yeah, uh, nothing down here. No crabs to take care of, no coins to grab. So, we got 40 rainbow juice, so save that bottle for a rainy day. Look at the shrubs! With this yellow brick road. Whoa! I saw that in the corner of mine eye. I wonder if we can snipe off the demon the same way. We can. Okay. I have a feeling this map is going to be a little convoluted. Just look at this. Look at the amount of platforming and higher levels and lower levels. Hey, there you are. And there you are. And there you are. All of them. All the cultists. And an imp who is now dead. So I guess this is just a, a dead-end ledge. I guess we just jump off. There's a trampoline. Hey! Where's a cacodemon? I could create another bouncing cacodemon. I could! If I had a cacodemon. Okay, yeah. I guess there's no way back up, so... Make sure everything is collected, which I, I guess it is, as far as I can see. So let's jump down. Music is really cool. Of course, y'all, y'all Nintendo nerds are gonna tell me where this is from. Totally fine with me. I like that. Yep, got the coins. Can't quite make it up to that ledge, though. So we have to climb up the hill. That's why it's called Valley Hill, after all. Because it is a valley, and it is hilly. Or maybe this music doesn't even come from a Nintendo game. I know there's some music tracks in this game that don't come from there. So, just let me know. As usual. Alright, up the very steep hill we go. Yes. Oh, little divot down here in the golden brick road. 
more shrubs obscuring the edge of this cliff. Oh, I'm getting shot at by another cultist and I guess a hell knight. Okay, we'll get more coins here. We can jump up there or just take the hill. I think the hill might be a bit safer because at least I can peek over. Can I lure the cultists over here? And yeah, palm trees. Can't climb them though, but yeah. Yep, there you, there you, there you guys are. Little a-holes. Okay, flowers, they could be a problem. But not for good old Big Mac Davis. Okay, so there's also this area, though, to explore. Oh my, okay. We'll at least get the coins. And... So it looks like there's a tunnel here that maybe can go around over here? And I guess it just takes me in one giant loop. So how about we do this tunnel first? So as to not get confused and not have to backtrack and find out what I missed. We'll just do this side area right now. Really love the aesthetics. I mean, Salamander, or Salamander, I don't know how to pronounce that. It looks like Salamander, like the animal. Did a really good job with this. I do gotta be careful of the sniping cultist. I didn't notice him until I got higher up, I guess. Oh! Our first red coin! <laughs> oh! Something tells me this map is going to be quite big. Yeah, he was way up there. Can't see him from the lower levels. Oh. Or maybe that's them? Oh no, I see... There, oh, it's a Baron, not a Hell Knight, who was sniping me earlier, but... Can I... Oh, man. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? Do it like that. That way you won't snipe me no more. And then... I at least killed the demon. I think I killed two demons. And I don't know about the cultists, though. There's a flower there. See him shooting his pollen at me? I can't tell if I got the cultist or not. He's not peeking out all the way. Like a good cultist would. Ah, I saw his coin jump out. So, I guess we're just gonna have to assume he's either dead or hiding. Works for me. So we went around there. Need more health, though. Thank you. And maybe more armor as well. Okay, I can walk up here. So I can go up the hill, or now I can walk up these steps. Towards where the demon and the cultist and the flower was. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. Oh! I cannot. This is as far as it goes. Well, answers my question. Let's go get more rainbow juice here. So our only other option, then, is to go up the very steep hill. Yeah. Still can't get over there. I probably have to go maybe around the whole cliff to get to that red coin over there. Something tells me that. The little voice in my head, although my little voice doesn't really exist. You know, like if you're like if you come to a a split decision that you you can't make, usually the little voice in your head will give you logic and and and, and will allow you to to make a good decision, but my little voice just says, Why are you asking me? Why are you asking me? And I'm like, Thanks, little voice. Thank you. Much appreciated. 
Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I, I alerted the cultists. Hopefully they'll come to me so I can snipe them. Wow, that would have been deadly if I had landed up there. All those cultists on the hard difficulty setting? Heck yeah. Oh, he didn't die! Usually two rockets is enough. I could have gotten armor from these guys, but I was kind of in a stressful situation. And as far as I know, I can't backtrack to the hub world. Okay, again, more paths branch off. So I I can't backtrack back to the starting area to get uh, a refill of armor, so this is all I got. Unless I punch out enemies. Oh boy, so I gotta be very careful. Alright, so what are our options here? A path going down to a, a red coin. We got another tunnel system going probably to wrap around up there. Maybe. Um, we got a bridge and water down below. So, three options. I think what I want to do... Hmm, that looks very wide open. I think I'm going to take the tunnel system first. Something tells me to take that. The little voice in my head actually is responding. Okay, pinkies, they can be punched out. Well, not with cultists there, no thank you. So we'll have to go kill them. Of course, I'm probably going to be wasting more health and armor than it's worth. There's also a baron in there that i got to be wary of. Okay, let's see if we can punch these guys out for their armor. Because I'm in desperate need of it. I don't, well, not desperate need, I'm, I don't have zero, but it'd be nice to have some armor. Hey, I think I'm going to wound this guy. He was already wounded. <laughs> Alright, rainbow bottle up there. Ooh, look at all the coins. Yes, please. Hey, Cacodemon! Hey, 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 hey! Can you follow me to a trampoline? I want to make another bouncing cacodemon. If at all possible. You can follow me out here. Come on. Yes, we're gonna do it. You know we're gonna do it. I must create another bouncing caco. The original is always going to be the original and will never leave my heart, but I'm obsessed with the idea of many bouncing cacos. Come on out, and let's go... Wow! What are the odds of that? Let's go down here. Oh no! Did I save? I don't think I saved. How far back did I save? Oh, I did save! Oh, that was so close! For a second there, I didn't think I even saved at all, but... Oh, that was so close. Ah, it's just... Slightly off. I think that's perfect, perfect! Oh, it was perfect! Then he twitched. Twitches at the last possible second. Come on down here. Wow, he really rose up quick, didn't he? Oh my goodness, it can't be that difficult. He just gets a little bit too forward there. Oh, no way. Really? He basically died in the air. That's perfect! Oh, he just went a little bit too forward. 
Goodness gracious, what? Oh, he was too far to the right. Oh, I don't know, guys. This may not be worth it. Wow! He's hitting every spot on the trampoline except the spot I want him to hit. Nope, that was way off. He was all over the place there that time. Really? You're not gonna bounce. Oh! Oh! <laughs> like an inch further and he would have fallen. It could be such a thing, though, that his hitbox is getting stuck on the spot that he needs to be. So maybe if I lure him to a different trampoline. I'm not going to spend much longer on this. Because this is getting a little ridiculous. I mean, there is a trampoline here, but I think it's going to be the same scenario. Unless I can get him down lower, like right here, and start shooting him. Maybe that's an idea. Maybe I can lure him over here, so he can get lower. Then maybe lure him over the trampoline. Yes. Yes. Mm. That was a good attempt. A good and noble attempt. I don't even know why I'm doing this, everybody, but... It can't be that hard. Either that or the day that I got the Bouncing Kako was just faded. It was just destined. I was destined to get the Bouncing Kako back in that level, that it just... The universe basically said, yes, I will give it to you in just a few attempts. Maybe enemies can't bounce in this one, because look how, how accurate that is. He's right in the middle. Maybe enemies can't bounce in this level. That's a bummer. I'm going to just stick with the fact that maybe they can't bounce. Or stick with the hypothesis that maybe they can't bounce. So, that was a waste of time. I may cut that out, but then again, I may keep it in just to show my attempts. Okay, we can fire this thing off two more times before having to grab the railbow ammo. Speaking of, I used it twice right there. So we'll grab it right there. Hey, nice! I like that design. What in the world is... Is that a skateboard loop? <laughs> that could have been dangerous if I fell down from up above. Hey, let's go skateboarding! Anybody want to go skateboarding with me? Oh, missed a coin there. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candies. Cacodemon, you're now a dead cacodemon. Ow, what? Ooh, piece of candy. All right. Gather up all the coins back here, and the red coin. <sighs> Health and armor is looking grim. But how many enemies are left? Oh, I almost killed all the monsters, so I think if we can just uh, keep going, I think we'll be okay. Alright, Baron, he could have crept up behind me easily and killed me. What's over here? It's a dead end, where the Revenant was. The Skelleboy. Let's keep going through here, this little archway. So, have I already been here? There are dead flowers everywhere. Have I already been here? I think I have. Yeah, here's that very steep hill. So I went through here. No. Where did I go? This is confusing to me. A very steep hill. I got up here. I 
I must have gone through here first, yeah, and then it looped upwards. Okay. And then came out here. Okay, so where is the downward hill, then, that had the, um... The red coin? Oh wait, I'm back at the start of this area. I don't know where I am, guys. I'm getting confused. Okay, here's where we are. Yeah, here's the downward slope to the red coin and the wide open area. Do I do the bridge next? No, I think I want to do the downward slope with the red coin. So let's do that. Oh, I see a pinky. And a red coin that I got at the base of the hill. I think I can snipe these flowers off from here. They're not worth it to keep alive. Alright, still a projectile enemy alive. There you go, you're dead. Now I think I can punch these guys out, can I? I can wound them a little bit. Don't want to kill them though. I do want to get some armor, so at least I can soak up some of the damage that I may incur. Oh wow, that's really cool. There's a way to get back up. Heck yeah, so now I can go to the bridge next time. Oh! Wow, what's that lag? Alright, I want, I want your coins. There we go. I'm a glutton for coins. Another red coin, that's four, that's halfway there, to the quota required. Oh, I see you, I also saw a Revenant missile coming my way, I also saw me being sniped by a cultist up there, who is now dead. Whoa, all the pinkies. only grab one of those shards. Again, only one shard could be acquired. Well, there's a shard. Oh, let's not get pincered. Let's not get sandwiched. Being sandwiched is never a good thing. Unless both parties agree and consent. Okay, we'll get these coins. And these coins here, and there's a little shrub bridge going across. Let's explore the water first. There are coins underneath here. Oh, and a red coin. Good thing I went down here. Uh, so that's five red coins. Hey, I had 666 coins just for a second there. You guys can rewind the video and see for yourself. It was very ominous. So this just takes me down to the... Oh, I can backtrack and get armor, but I think I'm good now. Good, there are ways to backtrack then. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> oh. That could have been dangerous. So which way to go? Let's... I kind of want to go this way first, rather than up the uh, winding hillside there. Something tells you there's like a red coin on the very tip of these islands or something. Whoa! Who dares to do that? You! Way up there! Is he dead? He is! I see his spinning coin, I think. Barely. Oh, no! There you are. Oh, I think he died. I think he died. I saw, his, I saw him crumple. I'll consider him dead. 
And if not, well, he will be dead soon enough. So that takes me back to the start. Ooh, that's how you get to the rooftop. Okay. I also get some rainbow juice, too. So that's six red coins of the eight that I need. Cacodemon. Idea! Another attempt. Come on, Cacodemon. Don't fail me now. Oh, man. Do I dare keep trying? Do I dare? I think I dare. Wow. He must be... He must need to be a little bit forward. A little bit more forward. Ugh. One more try. I'll give it one more try, and then I'm just not going to bother with it anymore. Not obsess over it. Okay, not gonna obsess. Maybe the trampolines in the new levels just don't work the same way that they do in the older levels. I don't know. I tried, I gave it my best shot. And that's all I can do. Maybe you guys can try it out in your own personal playthroughs and let me know if you got a bouncing caco to work. That's seven big or seven red coins. Another cacod, two cacodemons, three cacodemons, one cacodemon, two cacodemon, three cacodemon. These cultists, man. Whoa! Another cacodemon. Grief. How many enemies are left? Three. Only three enemies remain, and one red coin. There they all are. Can we get them in one shot? Oh! Ho, ho, ho. The triple kill! That was sexy! Gorgeous! Mm-hmm-hmm! <laughs> oh, man! Who needs an erotic subscription when you got this? You got this game. Heck yeah. Alright. I'm missing a bunch of coins, though. But... That's all the enemies dead. What does this do? Is this where the golden soul appears once I find all eight? So I think there is one area I didn't explore yet. Well, I did the bridge, yep, so that is the area I was thinking of. Hmm. Oh, under here. Under where? Under here. Well, no red coin, and no completion of all the coins. We're missing, like, probably 15 regular coins. So there is an area I have not explored yet. Has to be. It just has to be. Um... Well, let's go back to the start, then. And kind of retrace our steps. Don't know why I grabbed that medikit. I'm... There's no more enemies, and I'm gonna get a full health... Uh full health purchase when I'm done. Alright, um... Missing one red coin. Well, I guess there's no need to purchase a full health. It's really cheap. It doesn't cost a lot of money to purchase a full health. That's why I'm not so concerned about finding the health around here, but since I found the medikit, no need to buy the full health. Already came out from there on the other side. <sighs> I'm tempted to use the map, but I kind of don't want to. I want to find things on my own. 
I don't want to have to rely on the map. Okay, I've already climbed up this hill, but... Let's go back down here and... I've already explored underneath here, I remember that. I really don't see anything out of place. Or any island or any ledge I haven't explored yet, so... Uh, I'm going to use the map. Because I don't want to waste any more time. Oh. There's some coins there. No red coin, but there are some coins there. So... My guess is it's up here? Yeah. Oh, ammo. There are stepping pillars. Oh, wow. I can't jump on the wall from here, so I need to use these... torches as kind of a stepping stone. Man, platforming, my favorite thing. I don't think I would have found this area. It's a good thing I did use the map. Okay, any more stashes? Yes, there's where the red coin is. I didn't notice it on the map at first. My eyes were glued to this area. Oh, of course. I noticed this, but I... I didn't think it was swimmable. You collected eight red coins. A golden soul has appeared somewhere in the map. I have an idea where. And, yep, that's all the coins. I found them all. Oh, what? What? Oh, no! Scripted enemies. They do count towards the kill count, but they only appear after a scripted event, so you think you're done, but you're not done. Oh. Oh, no. I thought we were done. Wait, where are the revenants? Oh. Okay. So... How many enemies are left? I'm going to turn off the map now. Uh, three more enemies. That's not too bad, I guess. Dang. Oh, there they all are. Ooh. I can't get a triple because, well, maybe I can still. I want to get a triple. Gotta get a triple. But Pinky's got to leave the area. Okay. I wounded him. Now, this requires precision. Oh! He didn't... He didn't die. Gotta get three! I always get two! <laughs> they all need to align like the stars. There we go! That's more like it. That's what I like to see. Hello, Golden Soul! It's good to see you. Whee! Oh, man! What a map! And I got 777 regular coins. That's awesome. Alright, Valley Hill is now done. Let's crawl our way back to the shop so we can get a refill of our supplies. Um... 
up here. Let's get a mega armor, please. And... A full health, please. Um, do I need ammo? Let's get... Might as well. I mean, we're here. Get one ammo. There we go. Now we're maxed pretty much with everything. So, let's go back. Through... That's the wrong gate. Through this gate. And then... We are going to open the big coin door that requires 36. And do this map. We still got to find 21 golden souls total for that door in the Sapario area, so... Moody Mountain by Salamander again. So, this is all new. I have not played this one. Never seen this one in my life, so... We'll pick back up next time. I'm Big Mac Davis here, and we got another brand new Golden Souls map coming your way. So, take care, everybody. I'll see you next time.